hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm going to show you how to make this character <gasps> hang on the ledge like this let me show you again this character uh, in the previous implementation this character directly climb to the <gasps> top side of the ledge without any input but for now i am going to stop this character here so he's not automatically going to the top side and i haven't still worked on the inputs like moment on the ledge uh, but for now this is what i am going to cover today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me alright so for the upcoming episodes I'm gonna need this uh, these animations well first this one yeah this hanging idle download without this skin and then I need this uh, where are the shimmy yeah this this one and it should be in place I'll download that without a skin and also this one download without a skin and I'll do my conversion in the using the blender plugin to add the root bone match with my character rig so here I want to use Z and batch convert oh, wait this is the output path right now I'll import those animations into my project I don't need the mesh only the animation import all ok I need this one too. Okay, so at the first time when this character jump onto a wall, if the wall is high enough, I will stop this character in this pause yeah so I'll create I'll create a blend space and it should be a 2d blend space because this character can walk left right or jump down or jump up so therefore I'll make a 2d blend space sp on wall okay so the speeds well I have to think about it but for now I'll use uh, horizontal 
and vertical the maximum yeah minimum axis value I'll set minus 200 and plus 200 divisions uh, yeah four is enough for this also I'll set minus 200 and plus 200 four divisions enough and this is the first animation this is uh, left right let's see okay here we have a little problem because as you can see in this animation the character moves up a little bit that's not good we need to keep the character in the same level see oh wait I have in this animation I have downloaded without enabling in in place so I'm gonna have to download it again right now that problem is fixed and also for this uh, level problem I have added plus 40 import translation to the hanging idle animation okay now the on wall blend space is complete actually not complete I have to add this uh, vertical movement animations as well but let's work on them later so now here in our animation graph I don't have any state machines so yeah let's create a new state machine I'll call it um, locomotion like always and I'll cut this right and let's go here and let's add a new state walking here I'll paste what we had in the outside compile uh, right let's go back and I'll set this one as the entry start in a state let's quickly whether everything is all right okay it seems so Quiet and everything works right everything seems to be fine and yeah now I'll add another state this is on wall so here I'm going to use this blend space and for the horizontal speed I'll use the speed side and vertical speed we don't need it at the moment so here we need some condition to complete the transition and for now we have is crouched armed well not any other moment states so I think I did this oh wait what's the alright yeah I'll oh, oh, what 
let's create actually I did this in my other third person shooter series and so that's the place I thought that approach would be better so let's do the same thing here I am going to create an enumeration where are the enumerations is it under me Yeah, enumeration and I'll uh, we'll call it moment states moment states alright and the first one is walking and the next one is on wall and jumping oh actually this could be flying well I'll keep it as jumping because, but for now I only need these three states uh, well if I implement anything like proning I will need that too but I think this would be enough for now right and here I'll add a new variable mm -mm, like this state moment state in the type of moment state moment states and for the default value I'll keep working so here also Walking. I'll set it to walking because if I am crouching, then that's that means I'm walking. And what else? Yeah, I need an event to update the moment state of the character. So I'll add that into my character animation blueprint interface. Set moment state and as an input I'll get the new state it should be in the type of moment states and then I'll use that here when the moment state is equal to not working on wall can enter transmission and what's this one right And then for this one, the opposite. This is uh, when this is not true, that transition should take place. Right. Now what? Okay, now in my here in my ledge climb part where do I play that animation montage right it's here so I move my character towards the edge of the ledge and I set moment mode to fly in and then I play this animation montage this climbing up montage so I will not play this here and
and I'll just uh, yeah I'll basically disconnect everything that happens after this so yeah to be safe I'll keep a point here and then after that I'll get my reference to animation blueprint and set moment state to onward right let's check what happens now Wait, that's not what I expected. <laughs> Where's that? Did I implement it, this function? Ah, uh, right, I think I did not. Yeah. Set moment state. And set the state with the state I receive. Well, still no. <gasps> Why is that? All right, I should have stopped because uh, that jump in happens through uh, through the montage so I need to stop any montage then only I will see the hanging animation right so the character starts flying away because I set the moment mode to fly and uh, I think I need to stop moments of the character should I do it before this Stop moments immediately. Let's try this and see what happens. <coughs> okay, it seems it worked, but uh, then again, I need to change the location that my character is being moved so I can yeah here instead of this I think I need to two let's see Okay, it seems all right, but then again, I need to move this character away from the wall. So this one, I'll make it 
40. Let's see. <gasps> oh, 40 is not enough. That means I am going further into the wall. So let's try 60. yeah much better okay now we should have this problem character is flying so we need to stop that see so how can we stop that yeah first uh, in the inputs And move forward and move backward. Where is it? Right here. I should only add moments. Well, first I'll collapse this because this part is going to be a little bit complicated. Okay. So here, right here also, I need to keep that uh, moment state variable. Actually, I do have this fall in moment state and jump in walking states in already with my character moment, and also something like called custom character moment as well. But uh, maybe I can extend this character moment component and add the own wall. Or I'm not sure. So I think this way is easier for now, as I understand. Right, default value is working, and I think I need the same update moment state for this as well for the character blueprint. And it should be under moment. And I'll implement it. Yeah, maybe here. Update moment state. And here, first I'll set the moment state with this one. And then also, I'll get the animation blueprint and update moment state. Well, not through BPI character. I should call it wait. What's the method? Uh, it is set moment state. All right. Right now, where is on landed in the on landed event? I'll call update moment state to walk in because on landed is will be called only if my character is working or oh, character must be working if I land
and also where do I get on the ledge? climb right okay here I'll yeah instead of calling these now I'll directly call update moment state to on wall on this ch human character uh, and then under basic input and under moment input I can have this get the moment state and do a switch based on moment state so this part should be called only if I am walking and the same to the move right as well And here I am only blocking the moment on the ledge so to make it look cool let's try this on one of these walls but first I need a place to jump from maybe this one Okay, let's try from here. <gasps> oh, wait, something is wrong. Alright, ah, there is a character here, that's the problem. Let's go somewhere else. I use them to create the thumbnail. Okay. <gasps> oh, wait. A character could directly jump up the ledge mm, let's try again now <coughs> well, not high enough <coughs> oh wrong Well, let's go to the previous place. I can't make it look cool now. It takes time. Right. Uh, <gasps> okay. Now we can't move or do anything. But uh, the only option available is... Well, we don't have any other options now right so what's next in the upcoming episodes i'll work on uh, the moments on the wall while the character is on the wall moving left moving right and moving up and down while on the wall 
and uh, thanks for watching also i have released an source code update yesterday uh, feel free to check that and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye